Welcome to California Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. As Mike Ng is back, he is a member of the Los Angeles Community College District. What a wonderful time you must have had recently. The Vice President of the United States came to visit West Los Angeles College, a community college in your district, talking about the President's proposal to provide free community college for anyone that is interested. Talk to us about the visit. How was it? It was Nirvana for community college right. uh, advocates because the President as you know, gave the State of the Union mm -hmm. address recently, and he put community college funding access for those communities that don't have access to higher education front and center. The issue of how do we fund it, when do we fund it, where do we fund it, uh, is really a secondary issue. Mm -hmm. The main is issue it though, though, because I mean, look, it will cost money, and. A few details have kind of leaked out. Maybe 75% feds would pay, 25% yes. state. Right. So, but you know, it could be expensive. Well, it's a it's a 75-25%. Right. Uh, the feds would spend 60 million dollars. Right. Uh, uh, 60 billion over the next 10 years. Right. And the states would have to come up with 25. Right. That's a pretty good deal, uh, particularly when a lot of states have retreated from funding. Uh, community colleges, higher education, and relied more on the federal government and private schools. The bottom line of who funding, if you're really going to get at it, is right now, it's students are self-funding through loans mm. and graduating with debts that they can't uh, resolve in their lifetime. And that's what's holding back the issue of access to higher education. Overall, though, talk to me about sitting in a room with the Vice President of the United States, a man who had started serving in the U.S. Senate when he was 30 years old. I mean, this man lived the 20th century. He continues to live into the 21st century. He has seen it all. What did you make of Vice President Joe Biden? Um, a man who's not just uh, telegenic mm. over television, but mm -hmm. has vision. Mm. Uh, this gentleman has an incredible range of experiences that seem to sync with everybody that was in the room. There are only about a dozen of us in a wow. small town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. So the first impression is a, is a person who's extremely accessible, but someone who wants to know what your issues are hmm. and less about what his issues are. And if I remember, his wife, the second lady, isn't she yes. a community college professor she's or a, administrator? She, she's she's a, 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 a professor, a, a teacher, an instructor. Right. Um, what I found out about him was his background. He came from very, very uh, yes. middle class mm -hmm. background. Uh, his uh, parents did not want him to go to a, a, a very nice Ivy League school because they felt that uh, he would get the wrong uh, impression mm. by being with so and so Interesting. Quote, rich people. Interesting. So he had a very humble background, uh, and I think that empowered him to see um, that there are those that grow up with equally humble backgrounds that. Uh, cannot become vice president of the United States, but mm -hmm. are still left behind. Do you have a sense that the president, the vice president, will be able to push this proposal through Congress? We know the Congress is now in Republican hands. Do you get a sense that there's enough momentum behind it to actually get some movement? Well, I think that's the interesting question. Who does the pushing? All right, well stated. And I think that um, the president and the vice president have issued the call but I really think it, it's incumbent on everybody who's an advocate for higher education to weigh in on this. Because if we don't weigh in on this, then it really will be left up to Congress. And I firmly believe, as an elected official, that elected officials, um, many of, oftentimes, are led by their constituents. Right. And they may have a vision, but they, get, they have to be pushed in a certain uh, direction. And so therefore, whether you're a student, a parent, administrator, a teacher, or anyone that's concerned about where our society is going, community colleges really is the long-term answer to economic stability in our country. And we know definitively that while maybe in the last century community college was a second chance for some, this century many very bright students are starting at community college for a variety of reasons and then transferring. So it's not that second chance, it's, it's a place to start and begin and, and take, kick off. The most important impact um, in addition to what you said, is this, that no matter where you go, community colleges are given short shrift as mm -hmm. far as options. Students today want to go to Harvard, they want to go to UCLA, they want to go to USC, they want to go to UC Berkeley. I've met very few students who say their first choice is community college, and yet look, Clint Eastwood, Los Angeles City College, Frank Geary designed the Disney Hall Community College, Although LA City College. Although that may be changing. 
And why might that be changing? And it's kind of apropos that Vice President Biden went to West Los Angeles College because, as you know, 15 community colleges were recently granted the ability to offer a bachelor's degree in our great state of California. West Los Angeles College was one of them. Uh, I know that you took a tour with the vice president in the dental hygiene lab where students will soon be able to get a bachelor's. Talk to me about that. This is life changing. Oh. As many people know, the uh, original proposal for higher education uh, meant three separate tracks a community college, a Cal State, and a UC, and never the twain should meet. This will be the first time in history that we would offer a bachelor's degree at a community college level, although 21 other states already do. That it. is true. It's a pilot program, and it had some very, very important components. The first one is that we had to offer a degree that the Cal States and the UCs did not offer. Can I ask you about that? Yes. Because I understand why the Cal States and the UC would not want to duplicate majors. Uh, but it seems to me if, let's say, oh, I don't know, Chico State offers a degree, it's the only Cal State that offers a degree, shouldn't a community college in Los Angeles or San Diego or Imperial Valley be able to offer the same degree? I mean, it's so far away. Probably in the long run, but I think in the short run, to get those objections mm -hmm. uh, dealt with in a I meaningful understand. way, the UCs and the Cal States both have veto power. Even after these 15 programs have been selected, mm -hmm. we still have to go through them to make sure that there isn't some overlap. Secondly, this has to go through the accreditation right. procedure. Of course. So that's the reason why it's a pilot program, and we'll take a look maybe four or five years from now will be able to achieve right. what you just talked about. Let's do, to do talk about the victory that is West Los Angeles Colleges because there's no doubt this was a competitive process. Uh, only 15 were selected. I know several applied. I think 30, 40 applied. What went right? Uh, how did this happen? 34 um, applications mm -hmm. out of 112 colleges and only 15 were selected. Right. Um, I suspect, number one, we certainly, as the largest, um, we have had the kinds of experiences, um, a, a multicultural, uh, mm -hmm. a very diverse population. We know what this state needs. Uh, we need to have access for those students that come from poor backgrounds, as well as seeing the jobs that are waiting out there for which many are, are ill-prepared. Uh, secondly... Um, and remember, if I can interrupt, what you're saying is is well taken because a bachelor's at West Los Angeles College or the other fourteen, ten thousand dollars, not a year. That's right. For four years, right now the UC system is twelve thousand a year. CSU yeah. seven thousand a year. We're experts on de delivering a quality product at lower cost. Remember the parameters were eighty four dollars per unit for an upper division, forty six for a lower division. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the ability to do that. In fact, someone did an estimate that one of our colleges, you could go there for a year, including paying out-of-state tuition and living expenses, less than $19,000 a year. We are $10,000 a year less than a Cal State. We're $20,000 a year less than a UC and $30,000 a year less than a private college. This is a time, this is a feature whose time has come and we can do it quality as well as quantity, as well as living within the parameters. My question is, when can we start applying? I mean, is the program going to launch this fall? I know you have to launch by 2017. Are you ready to go? Yes, the, 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 there are students that were here today that talked to Mr. Biden. They're going to be part of that first class. And so um, this is something that um, is going to be very, very exciting. The, the real issue is, um, because it's a private pilot program, right, right. Um, whether we will admit a second and a third class. And there were some students there today that said, hey, why not a master's degree? <laughs> oh, I, 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 love, I love my, my experiences here at this community college. I'm, I'm going to go through the bachelor's program. That isn't the issue. The issue is when I'm going to get my master's degree here. Brilliant. His name is Mike Eng. He is a member of the Los Angeles Community College District. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's California Edition.